I am horribly lit, my friends, but I had a technical malfunction and I had to stop and pull over to uh, relight my engine, as it were. How you doing out there in YouTube lane? You having a good day? I am having a swimmingly good day, despite everybody's best effort to hit me. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that person is gonna make a right into there. I don't think so. Hey, anyway, we're back to road reality where you never know what you're gonna get, do you? But seriously, all these drivers were doing the dumb, dumb maneuvers on the road. I had one guy back out of a house onto the street trying to hit me. Like, dude, I swerved around that guy. I was like, boop, boop, and I went around him. It was a nothing burger of the highest order, a quarter pounder nothing burger with extra cheese. Anyway. Uh, I did a thumbnail for this video, right? And you read what it said, which is why you clicked on the video. Now you want to hear about it. You want to know what your old buddy John thinks about how long do you keep a bike? Well, maybe I'm your old buddy John. Uh, if not, I will convince you throughout this video that I should be. And you should subscribe to my channel because this is entertaining AF, as the kids would say. But anyway, <laughs> we ride a cowboy one-handed rodeo clown this bike that we're on is a 2019 street glide special of the genus harley davidson species motorbike it is a wonderful motorcycle that i have added a tour pack to and various other accoutrements to get the touring in order not that i tour but you know i, I do what i can and it's a lego taxi baby but the odometer this morning changed. It rolled over to 32,000 miles, which means it had more, or has more miles than my wife's car had when she traded it in on a minivan. <laughs> yeah, if you remember back to that earlier video, the wife bought a minivan. She loves it. It's great. She hates the tech. She's an old person in a young person's body. Tech hates us. Tech really doesn't agree with us. Oh, come on, who opened the floodgates? Please let me in. Traffic is a real today. This morning sucked, this afternoon's gonna suck. I just hope to make it on time. And I know that minivan's coming. Oh, look at that. They were turning anyway. I knew that, I'm a fortune teller. But uh, anyway, my wife keeps a vehicle for like 10 years, right? She's had four or five vehicles in her whole driving career. I counted it earlier. I have had 13, including four or five motorcycles, whatever it is, in uh, in the last 14 years, 15 years, something like that. However long I've known that lady. And every year I see the same people buying new bikes and I see the same other group of people still riding what they've got. So it begs the question, how long do you keep a motorcycle? You know, I've got delusions of grandeur that I'm gonna be able to ride this bike all the way to 100,000 miles without dropping myself on my head and totaling it. So, you know, I got that going for me. Woo. Let's go down the antenna test range. See, oh yeah, we haven't been here in a while, huh? Look at that, am I, oh, I was in third gear the whole time. Third gear, never fear, renegade steer, clear. Nope, we're not doing that crap again. Anyway, look. I have these delusions of grandeur, right? That I'm gonna keep this bike for 100,000 miles. I wanna see the odometer roll over to six digits. We'll see if that actually happens. I mean, at the rate of like 7,000 miles a year, that's doing the maths, carry the two, I don't know, a bunch of years, this many years. But I don't know that I'm gonna keep it that long. There are far more enticing bikes finally on the market than this. Namely, the 2024 Street Glide and Road Glide they're calling my name. They are not, however, convincing the Minister of Finance in my household that I need a new bike. This one runs great. I absolutely love how rock solidly reliable, knock on wood, it's been. Honestly, it's been nothing short of stellar once I figured out that the regular old dino juice that came in it ain't gonna light off the motor under 40. Grammar, I know, but whatever. Talking like NASCAR today, woo! Let's make lefts and moonshine and whatnot. Anyway, that was derogatory to somebody. If you were offended by that, leave me a comment below. But seriously, this bike, I mean, yeah, we got the engine oil thing situated and yeah, sometimes it likes to eat tires and brakes, but 
overall, it, it's always started up and gotten me home or away from home, whatever the case may be. So I've been rather pleased with that. And I was actually at the Harley dealer this past weekend, a Harley dealer. Video over here, link in bio. Oh, click on my Amazon affiliate links. Buy stuff so I can get paid. Not, not really. I'm just in a coffee infused mood today, my friend. But the, uh, the gist of it is, I saw a lot of those bikes and I'm at a point in my life where I just don't have a payment for anything other than my house and I don't want another payment. I don't want your life. Name that movie, you have five seconds. Four, three, what is this in the road? Pay attention, John. Ah, tree debris from a recent storm. See, up, oh, roll over, boop, boop. Nice. See, this bike just does what you want it to, baby. Street glide or no glide. Maybe you can ride a road glide, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> ah, this video is gonna be fun to edit. I will have to take several laughter breaks. And that looks like a rain cloud. Oh well. Tis the story, morning glory. Let us go and benefit from speed. I feel the need, the need for speed. Because I was inverted. Oh my goodness, look at all this traffic. This is ridiculous. Can I get a what, what? How about an open, open, ning, ning? I'm still gonna take off and hit this gravel in front of my bike and then do, just absolutely be hosed. We have an opening after the Nissan. We have an opening over there. We're going, we're gone, we're gone. Boom shakalaka, can't buy a bucket. My brain is a constantly revolving series of 80s and 90s and sometimes the aughts and the noughties pop culture references. Look at the wind today. Look at the flag. America, gotta love America. America's great, love America. Woo, I need more coffee or less coffee or something else other than coffee. Ah, that was a three gulper. Oh yeah, got three gulps of coffee in that one. Woohoo, coffee, 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 coffee. Let's go. So I will tell you now that I've had my 2005 Kawasaki Vulcan 800 ba -ba 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 bobber since 2010. It was the bike I learned to ride on. It was the bike that I had when I first got my license. It is a lot of fun to ride still, even though it's bobbed out, hold on. Nice. So I happen to really enjoy keeping that bike, if for nothing other than nostalgic purposes. But it certainly does not set off a tuning fork in my shorts like this bike does, because this bike really gets my motor going. Yeah, baby. Yum, 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 yum. John leans the bike, film at 11. It is hot and humid out here. It is the middle of August in the mid-Atlantic US. So that means it's 85, 90 degrees and well, the humidity is lower. It's only 50% today, but it was 80% over the weekend. We're gonna take it nice and easy through here. It's a bit pop, pop, pop mark. Oh, look at us. Yes, John, go baby, go. Yeah. Squeeze on the front brake. Lean through the corner. Motorbiking at its finest. And fairly safe, because we're not leaned over that far or going that fast, are we? People give me a lot of crap for riding 35, and 35 is a lot safer than 75, I tell you what. And it's not the speeding that kills you, it's the sudden deceleration. All right, so back on topic, I have my Kawasaki Z650, the KZ650 SR. I had that thing for like seven years, but I, didn't, I couldn't do the maintenance on it, didn't have time to worry about it, so I got rid of that. The Vaquero, we all know that I wrecked and never got comfortable on it, so I got rid of that too. But I noticed there's guys like Gil, GB winging it. He trades his bike in every couple of years as his needs change. My needs are changing. I need to pull over and show you this lovely motorbike. Woo, squirrely. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is a 2019 Street Glide Special with all the trimmings that one could hope to tour with except maybe a luggage rack on the tour pack, because there's none there. I never put one on, and I didn't put a passenger backrest on because I don't carry passengers. I just carry me on this thing. But ain't she a beaut in billiard blue? What a beautiful motorbike. Let's keep riding. John needs to get himself home, uh, look at his split time-wise, and I'm gonna wrap the video up by the end of this road. Let's go. Yum, da, 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 da. I mean, listen. What is not to like about V-Twin, baby? My Balkan 800 doesn't make any kind of noise. 
Hell, that thing's so quiet, I shift by the feel of it, the little vibrations. I don't even shift by the RPMs. Not that it has a tachometer or anything, but I just shift when I feel the need arise. Anyway, Gil gets rid of his bike. Patrick, Motor Ramblings, he keeps his bikes a long time unless they, you know, develop a spontaneous oil leak, as it were. And then uh, Dewey rides. He, uh, he keeps a bike a long time, I think, unless it gets stolen in Mexico, link up here. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing all the all the favorites today. You know, Ty from Tennessee, he's holding on to my lowrider ST for me, doing a good job of tastefully modifying it for me. I think it's all things I'm gonna like when I eventually buy it from him. I think it would actually be really funny if that came to fruition in a few years when Ty's ready to sell it and I go down there and buy it from him. Cause I've been joking with him because he's doing all these mod videos and stuff and I'm like, uh, I have no frame of reference for that. I don't really have a good comment to make. All I have is uh, I like your bike and I want to support your channel. So I'm watching your video and he's a friend of mine. I think acquaintance, strong acquaintance. So I'm like, all right, let me leave a comment. Thanks for keeping my low rider ST in good shape, Ty. And he replies with an, an equally snarky comment. It's good. He's very respectful in his comments. Always calls me, sir. And I always have to remind him I work for a living. Don't call me, sir. So anyway, how long do you keep a bike? Leave me a comment below. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're driving on your side of the road. And I'll leave you with the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, 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 do something nice for yourself every day. Maybe it's cutting back on caffeine, John. Or not. Bye.